is everything you need to know about creating architectural diagrams with Nano Banana Pro. Hello and welcome back to the channel. By now, we already know that Nano Banana Pro excels in diagrammatic understanding. But how well can this benefit architects and designers? Let's find that out in this video. Today, we'll take a look at some of the architectural and urban diagrams that are possible with Nano Banana Pro. I'm Salman, an architect and an illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so we can grow together as a design community. So, let's get started. Timeline Diagrams Timeline diagrams are a great way to present chronological information and let's see how we can use them for various use cases. For the first example, let's try creating a sequence of illustrative diagrams that show the evolution of Central Park in New York. We can prompt it to focus on the landscapes and the modifications. The style can be a 2D plan view in an urban style drawing. You can adjust the prompt as you prefer. The aspect ratio can be in 16 to 9 since we plan to show a sequence of diagrams. The resolution is in 4K and make sure to turn on this toggle for more accurate results. Click run for the results and this has created some impressive outputs. We can see four sequences of the diagrams starting from the 1850s to the present day. Diagrammatically, it shows all the elements of that specific time period and it also shows how each element has evolved over time. The text labels are precise for each location and down below, we have a brief two-line description for each timeline. This can be a highly valuable tool to add into presentations, slides or articles. Or if you're simply a student who wants to understand things diagrammatically, this can be a powerful tool. Similarly, I also tried creating a sequence of collage images to show how interior design has evolved from the 1980s to the present day. The world is really losing its colors, don't you think? But anyway, you can get creative with these timeline diagrams and play around with styles, formats and elements. Site Analysis Diagram we already saw how to create site analysis diagrams on a previous video. Now let's see how we can create stylized versions of Kasi. I picked this location in Barcelona, which is a campus with a few buildings and a playground. One small detail that I've figured out is that if we copy the exact coordinates of a location and add it to Nano Banana, the results seem a lot more accurate. To begin with, let's take a screenshot of this location, take it into Photoshop and add an isometric circle around the site. We will try creating a site analysis within this circle. Now, open a new chat in Google AI Studio, add the screenshot, and for the prompt, you can follow the one on the screen. I've basically figured out the prompt from trial and error using different combinations and keywords. We described the prompt to create a 3D style site analysis diagram based on the coordinates and within the circular base that we provided. We also specify the orientations, the style of output, the color palettes and the elements that we want. Click run and this was the result. This definitely looks impressive already. The way it's able to take the map information and create a site analysis diagram based on that. At the same time, I wanted to add a plain white background. So I altered the prompt and created this result. Here's a before and after. Bubble diagrams to flow plan. Nano Banana Pro can actually turn a simple bubble diagram into fully furnished 2D flow plan. Let's begin by uploading a simple bubble diagram into Nano Banana Pro on Google AI Studio. The prompt is really simple and we ask this to convert this into a 2D flow plan and use proper line weights to create it as a professional drawing. These are some really cool results. The way Nano Banana Pro is able to interpret simple line drawings and create a functional looking 2D flow plan layout with walls, line thicknesses, furniture layouts and elements is impressive. Let's try comparing this with the original bubble diagram. Of course, the plan would need a few changes to be more functional. I would add a few things here and there and remove a few elements that don't make sense. But on an overall level, we cannot deny the fact of the potential that this tool can unlock. Every element from the bubble diagram is placed exactly where it should be in the 2D layout. Nano Banana Pro is truly reshaping how architects visualize flow plans. And to help you adapt faster, we have created a complete flow plan rendering masterclass using Nano Banana Pro for architects and designers. Many of you have already seen results from the previous version of the masterclass, which we launched on the Nano Banana. And with the new Nano Banana Pro, we have updated it even further. The updated masterclass shows you how to create impressive isometrics, realistic flow plan visuals, and stylistic renders from a simple 2D CAD drawing with no prior experience needed. You'll also get a PDF with 30 plus prompts 
that can help you turn your simple CAD drawings into high quality visions. Check out the Gumroad link in the description to access this masterclass. 3D diagrams from Google Earth. For quick studies and presentations, we can directly turn a Google Earth screenshot into a 3D diagram format. Once again, I have picked a location from Google Earth with 3D buildings. And this one specifically, because the main building here has scaffolding on one side. So this will really test out the capabilities of Nano Banana Pro to see if it retains those details. Take a screenshot and upload it and ask the platform to turn this into a SketchUp style 3D model image. Click run and to my surprise, the platform has retained the exact detail from the image by including a plain white face on the left side of the building. Every other element on the image is exactly where it should be and this can be a quick way if you want to design or alter specific things on the site location without having to go through the trouble of 3D modeling the entire space. Urban Context Diagram Mapping out different elements of a city just got more easier. Once again, let's begin with a screenshot of location from Google Earth. Let's save the image and open it in Photoshop. I'm adding a red circle around the site as a reference for the AI model. Let's save the image and upload it into Nano Banana Pro. Firstly, let's try creating a sequence of four diagrams from the same image. You can follow the prompt on the screen. And what we're trying to do is to create one diagram with only buildings, one with landscape, another one with roads, and the last one with neighborhood blocks. I've assigned different styles and colors for each of these diagrams. I've also specified how the overall output needs to look along with the coordinates of the exact location. Now, the aspect ratio plays an important role here because it seems to stretch or compress the output. Since we want four circular diagrams, let's choose a one is to one ratio. Click run and within a few seconds, we can see that the model has followed the precise input that we provided. We have four different diagrams exactly as we asked. Now, let's try turning these into isometric diagrams with each diagram stacked on top of each other. Download the output, add it into the same chat once again, and let's ask the platform to arrange them isometrically with dotted lines and labels. Make sure to also change the aspect ratio. And since we want a vertical image, it can be in a 3 to 4 ratio. Click run and this was the first output. This was cool, but I wanted to remove the shadows from the output. So I adjusted the prompt and ran it again. I ran it a few times and these were the result. This can be a really useful way of creating urban style diagrams in not just simple formats, but also isometrics or more complex ways as we prefer. Infographics Infographics for articles and presentations doesn't have to be generic Google searches anymore. If you heard about this material called bee brick, it's a building block with a hollow hole in it for bees to nest and lay eggs. Let's see if we can create an infographic to understand this material. I've asked the platform to create an infographic poster of bee bricks, the materials and uses, and to also use relevant diagrams and sketches to convey this information. Click run. And we can see that the platform goes through different sources on Google to research about the brick and produce a very cool infographic poster. The poster shows a 3D section with different materials inside. It shows a process of how bees use the brick, how these can be integrated, the research and benefits of the material are also included as well. In case you're presenting something like this, all you have to do is to just add this image into your slideshow and you're good to go. Gone are the days where slideshows are just text and boring graphics. Texture mood board of a city. We've seen mood boards for interiors, but using Nano Banana Pro, we can create textures and finishes of an entire city. Let's try creating an architectural mood board of the city of Dubai with various textures, finishes, and capture the overall look and feel of the city. Choose an aspect ratio and your resolution and click run. We have a really cool pinup board format with different materials, photographs and color palette that are found in the city of Dubai. It also tries to figure out these Islamic geometric patterns that are found in the city. I then tried creating one for my own city and the results were so good and easily recognizable. So that was it from different diagrams that are possible with Nano Banana Pro. We've already shared detailed video on how to create site analysis diagram and form evolution diagram on the previous video. So make sure to check that out as well. Check out the link in the description to access the realistic flow plan rendering masterclass with Nano Banana Pro. I hope you found this video to be helpful. And if you did, please hit that like button and share this with your friends. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and what other topics you would like to see in future. Make sure to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates in future. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.